the greetings. This is Dr. Alain Bay, and I am the writer as of what we call the First Water book. And within these 419 pages, there's seven chapters in which that correlates perfectly with the mundane and how to raise yourself up to a spiritual level. We give you practical um, exercises in chapter 6 and chapter 7 specifically and tell you of the advanced transformations and changes in which that will actually happen within your body as you begin to go through these particular exercises as well as you will also gain actionable information and knowledge about the world around you and your environment and so once again this is the first world order book of which that on the back you will see my teacher Prince Ramesses Abel Bay, the Crown Prince of Empire Washtenaw D. Doug Demonia. He's the one in which that commissioned me to write this book. In which that in this book, you will find information on how he became the Crown Prince of the Empire Washtenaw D. Doug Demonia. He stole that title by the Empress herself, June 7th, 1999. And it's no coincidence that today happened to be June 7th. So, this is one of the ways in which that we give back to those who have given us so much. So, please check out this book. Once again, the first one order. For those who have read it, then you know the information, what it holds, the information, how deep it goes, and how you can utilize this in this life, here and now, not wait for an afterlife to come. All right, so this is practical information and knowledge that's in this book. All right, so for those who like the historical portions, that's fine, it's in his book. For those who like the literal information, that's fine, it's in this book. For those who like the practical information, then that's fine, it's in this book. All right, this is a composition of several books into one. But this is the information on which that we receive from our crown prince, Randy C. Zabel Bay, known as Prab Melchizedek, who was also the establisher of the indigenous cosmic golden ray order Melchizedek, as well as also the establisher of the nation known as United Washington Deduct Among Your Moors. All right? And as one of those Nagas or one of those chiefs, we state that. This is something that you really need in your library in order to pass on. It's like a college book. Unlike with a college book, you never go through the whole book. And oftentimes you have to go and actually end up selling the book back after the end of the year because there's nothing to wish that you can actually do with it. But this is not the case. You can actually utilize this book and pass this book down to generations so that they would know your children. They would know, your grandchildren, they would know, and on and on. They would know of your existence, of your struggles, and of their ancestors who have passed on, became living relatives. So we are saying once again, this is a must read. All right? So, once again, first water. All right? Peace. Peace. I just wanted to quickly read some of the comments from people who have gotten the book. Um, Teacher M. Hotep says, The First World Order is an amazing book. When I first heard of it through Dr. Ali Mel Bay, the author of the book, which I had known as a very humble God, I've been following his work for years. I knew that the book had to have some serious research and a lot of time spent on documents to back up his claims. Just the name alone caught my attention. Dr. Bay has conclusively and unequivocally answered a lot of unanswered questions that I had in the past about the ancient ones and put many of the pieces of the puzzle together. I mean, this brother has tapped into the universal God consciousness. The brother really did his homework. And on the inside of this book, it is full of pictures and easy to understand editorials and having endless knowledge of information that will take years to contain. If you are looking for inner standing and overstanding, add this book to your collection of knowledge. 
This is the Tablets to Read and Study. I love this book and I have added it among one of the great books of my shelf. Um, that's what Brother Teacher M. Hotep said. Wow. Um, e. Lawrence says, powerful work from a modern day master teacher. Peace and honor, Dr. Bay. Um, Brother Granchi Kujo says, great, great book. Everyone should have a copy. One of the best Moorish books of one of the Moors. Dr. Aline Bay's book, First World Order, is a literary masterpiece about the history and the science of the Moors and the Amexiums. This extensive lesson book allows the reader to delve into information about the history of the so-called Blacks before subjection in the Americas. I was very impressed with the attention to detail and the brilliancy with which it was written. The First World Order has some great historical stories that intrigue and fuel the imagination while giving a sense of ownership to the information presented. If you are a student of Noble Drawley and the Moorish history of America, this book is a must for your library and a must for your children. There are not enough stars to rate this book. Those are just a couple testimonies of people who have actually read the book. We'd love to hear yours. If you'd like to see a listing of all the testimonies that we've accumulated, you can go to DrAlimLBay.com and check out the Hall of Knowledge, the home of the $10 PDFs. That is D-R-A-L-I-M-E-L-B-E-Y.com. And thanks again. Don't forget to click and subscribe. And at the box below, we'll leave the links. Peace, honor, love, happiness, and appreciation.